Welcome to this video, Rudo Baker, 2160. Yeah, if I play like the last games, he will just, you know, swipe me off the board. Let's see. Up to this point, I'm still alive. That's a good sign. And he thinks a lot, so maybe he doesn't know the position. Knight e4 might be an option, taking on d4. Uh huh. Hmm. I want to. I even think about sacrificing all this stuff here. Just castling. Hmm. Okay, queen b3. He takes. I do this. So I have uh, a lead in development and this, this bishop on c8 is doing nothing. What do we have here? Four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. If he takes on c4, I have a lot of play. Hmm, what a mess. If he takes queen d6. is doing something queen d6 I'm not sure maybe it's not even working um, oh, let's see let's see at least it's sharp and uh, um, if you material down you want a complicated game and maybe this is a little bit complicated A nice square for the bishop is also c5. If he moves his queen and I can put my bishop to c5, this would be nice. And now bishop d6. And I uh, queen d6, alright? A knight c4 maybe <laughs> what's going on here I do this anyway so knight c4 and then queen c5 again with many threats If queen c5, okay. What's the body count? Queen e5, knight c7 doesn't work. I can take, take. But this knight might be trapped then. Here his queen is hanging. So if he takes back knight e6 and the queen is history. 
Mm. But my queen is also not able to move. Uh, I mean the knight, because then my queen would be on pre. What about just king d8? Tricky game. E4. Maybe bishop e4. Here I was surprised that he does something like this. He cannot castle now. Let's enter. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Well, okay. At least I won a game. Um, yeah, another one and then we call it the day.